Ladies and gents, welcome to a wonderful video that we're going to start doing. It's a little series here where I'm going to start sketching, practicing, drawing little doodles, things, maybe things that you guys inspire me to draw, other YouTubers, I um, just different things. I, I want to get back to drawing and sketching. And I said the best way to do it is to be able to just share my experience with you because I know I share a lot of my drawing and painting on t-shirts, but I it's been so long since I've just you know started a fresh sketchbook and started filling it up. Now, as you can see there on that first page, on the left-hand side there, that little purple, pink, gooey-looking thing, that's some pictures I've done previously. I will show you those in, the, in an, um, a, a new video, another video, and I will definitely show you what I'm working with. I'll, um, you know, in passing, talk about them here as we're going along, but I want to break it down a little bit better, and of course, that video will be linked somewhere as I'm talking about it now, as soon as it becomes available. So that way you can see kind of what I'm using. I have um, just Prismacolor markers here. I'm using uh, two different packs. One is just the primary 12-color pack because that's all I could afford. And then I finally was able to scrounge enough to be able to get the an or the manga, or manga, I should say, um, set to, to have more flesh tones because I'm going to start doing a little bit more character development. And you made me see me draw me a few draw a few puppet ideas in the future. So yeah, I wanted to you know exercise my ability to create characters, um, draw things, and you know why not um, share the experience with you as well. So um, yeah, we're actually starting off with Grumpy Cat as you can see, kind of mixed with Yoda because I thought that would be cool. I'm drawing, of course, the sketch I've previously sketched. I've got a few sketches as well in the back there, as done with a Prismacolor sketch. Um, color pencil, basically. It's a, a dual-sided. It's red on one side, blue on the other. I'm sharpening both sides and kind of doodle away. I'm using it primarily because Will Terrell, he's another artist, a comic book artist, a teacher out of, I believe, Texas. And he's just a, I, I don't know, I mean, he's really an, you know, an amazing, inspiring individual. Like, he has a lot of experience in the field of comic books and all, and he's He's drawn a lot, and uh, he does videos, and he's, you know, got more subscribers, but definitely go share, go go see his stuff too, because he has some great, great drawing skills, and, you know, I think it, they're better, of course they're better than mine, but, you know, we got different styles, of course, which I, you'll see a lot of his style in mine, because I want to, I toyed around with a lot of his style, because he really does, it, it's inspiring, his videos are great, he talks about different things, and, I just I wanted to I wanted to experience that I wanted to give my YouTube viewers I know a lot of you are here because of cosplay and building and and creativity and in, you know inside of the viewer beats a heart of creativity whether you are an artist or are are you're an artist or not you still enjoy watching it and watching it come to life and in the, that's every about once a week I want to put out one of these videos maybe more so if it becomes such a big thing so do hit the like button. Um, I, I can't say that enough because with Google Plus and all these things, it does help spread the love. And, of course, share it with your friends and, and, and others. Of course, in the future, there'll be more, more focus maybe on what the material I'm drawing and, of course, um, or whatever I'm doodling at the time. I say doodle because I look at this as just a quick sketch, just some fun. And that's just, I want you to do that as well. Go to my Twitter and share pictures that you've doodled. I don't, I don't mean, I know a lot of people may, may think they're not good at art, but you never get good at art if you think you're, if you just constantly don't want to share your art, you don't want to experience it, you don't want to, you know, be shit. I, I, I hate to, you know, break it down and, and to a dirty word there, but you're going to have to suck to get better. I mean, you're going to see a lot of things in, that I'm drawing here that I may suck at, you know, but um, I'm getting better and I work towards getting better every time. And every drawing, I get one step closer. If, say, you know, right now I'm working on female figure and all, I didn't go to like an art school or nothing, so I didn't get the the luxury of someone, you know, derobing in front of me and me getting to draw them and being forced to draw them in multiple different angles. And so, you know, I've been trying to study with the books and, you know, maybe figure drawings, just, you know, you've got to do your best because that's one thing I want to get, you know, better at. I... I Coop is a, an artist that you need to check out. He does a lot of like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's more he's got, he's got this Devil Girls hot rod, you know, you know, muscle car theme going on. And I used to like him even you know, a long time ago. My art teacher 
in high school showed me a magazine called Juxtapose. And um, you need to check it out if you've not. Of course, you know, it, it has a bunch of mixed art styles, sometimes with sculpture, sometimes with just crazy stuff. Um, I believe the last one I saw, I didn't purchase, but because um, it didn't really have, I kind of flipped through. And if it has something or an artist I'd like to learn more about, I'll, I'll grab it up. If not, then I'll kind of pass on it. Because, you know, heck, you know, I'm not a rich man here. But um, there's a lot of weird artists in, in, in the world, and that's great. I say weird in a good way because, you know, you don't want to be just like everyone else. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make, which I don't even know if I was making a point, but I just wanted to draw. I wanted to make mistakes. I wanted to get a sketchbook and get active again, just trying to do a daily doodle. And I've been posting a lot of them on my Twitter. And all of these links I'm talking about, if you're wondering what my Twitter is, of course, click the link below and you'll see in the, the description everything you need to see, even Will Terrell's channel. He's a great dude, and you need to go over there and show him some love. He is inspiring whether you're a drawer or you want to be in comic books or you want to be anything. He, he is inspiring with his speech. He talks about you know, getting off your, you know, butt and getting back into it, like how to stay motivated. And it really does. It's inspiring because right now I'm working on a lot of things that I can't necessarily share because I could share them, but I don't want to, you know, ruin the experience for the viewer. I, I, I like to think half of, you know, some of my, um, some of my stuff is, um, crazy. And I like to, um, let you experience it for the first time on video and not, not let your mind wander and, and, and do any guesswork. Because I know if you show somebody a picture, maybe they, you know, build up this, you know, representation in their mind and it may, you know, it just it, it may not be what they expect or and that, that does, whether you choose to believe it or not, it sometimes it does augment how you feel about your you know, they, they feel about your piece. Whether it be um art or anything. You don't show them like it's like right now, I'm kind of showing you the process. Like when you saw this sketch before, you're like, oh, this kind of may, that may look rubbish. But now when you watch it at the end, you're like, okay, well, I'll see where he's going. Because you never, <laughs> I don't want people to, to judge it prematurely. I want them to view it in its entirety. And if they like it, then amazing. If they don't, then that's also as acceptable as well. I, I'm a secretive individual with my art. I like to keep it a secret because you never can tell. I mean, I may get through with it and go, oh, this is garbage. And then I may have to can it and start fresh. But I highly doubt that. I've really, you know, I've uh, worked on these puppets for a while, and they're really going to be great. But um, as you can see here, let's get back to talking just a squidge, just a smidge, and we'll talk about what I'm doing. I'm layering a lot of um, browns and light flesh tones and dark um, flesh tones as well. You'll see that there is a dark, more of a chocolate brown around the eyes. I wanted to focus... I know he has a lot, if you look at the picture of Grumpy Cat, he has a lot of, um, I say he, so please forgive me if I keep saying he, because they make it out to be a he every time I hear, but it's actually a girl cat. Let's get that one straight. But, but um, I believe it actually is a girl cat. It may not be. I think it's a girl cat. Whatever. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But um, thank you um, for bearing with me if I do make a, an error here. But um, they have, a, she, she or Grumpy Cat has a lot of black hair around the eyes, like dark hair, and I didn't want to hog on a lot of black because I have a lot of brush pens with ink and a lot of pen and ink, and I've got a lot of, you know, dip pens and, and things like that, and I could really lay it on here, even markers, even Sharpies, but I didn't want to flood it. I wanted to put black, and you'll see me put a lot of black um, little hairs and detail in soon enough, but I, I wanted to kind of, you know, try to stay away from an overabundance like really hogging on the black, and I and I I would I would you know, it's whatever style you're capable of. Like you see at the at the end of this, like if you watch some of my you know my, some of my Twitter posts, I do a lot of um, you know thick outlines around some of my 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 pictures that I finish, and that's because of Will Terrell. He does that a lot, and I and I liked it. I did it on one of my one of my pieces of art that I'm doing here, just sketches. Nothing, you know, you know, for anybody. No commission work or anything. I'm just, just doing it for me, having, a, having fun, learning from my mistakes, drawing things I'm not comfortable with, and you know, you do, you do that too. It's amazing, and I just like a big, I like the black outline around it. I really think for just a sketch, it looks great, but I won't use one here later on because of the hair of the cat. The hair of the cat is, of course, um, a very key part to showing you that it is a fuzzy critter. 
And um, yeah, you'll see in the minute when I start laying the black lines and all the little tiny lines that represent each strand of hair, that, that you know, you'll see the hair kind of, you know, appear, so to speak. As you can see it here with the blue outline there. Um, speaking of the blue outline, or the blue sketch, I should say, the under, underlying sketch of it, I, um, you can take a good eraser and knock that back some, but for the sake of the video and for sake of me, I didn't knock the, I didn't knock it back because I know it has a lot of you know detail and line work in it. You could go a little lighter when you sketch. Um, I didn't because I did a lot of correcting of my of my um sketch, my initial sketch, and you know, especially around the mouth and nose because really the mouth and nose and the eyes are what really sell this little guy or this little girl or this intriguing weird faced looking cat. Okay, I'm <laughs> I keep uh, messing up already. It's just so grumpy, and I when I look at a grumpy cat, I'm like, that has to be a guy cat. You know, I don't know. Maybe girl cats are grumpy. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being sexist. Maybe guy cats around the world are like, hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, can I just have my meow mix and you not, you know, call me a grumpy, you know, asshole? And I'm like, okay, man, sorry, get off my back, bro. You know, cut me a cut me some slack because a cat says bro, and then of course I say bro or something. I don't know. That's not really. I'm not really something I say, but that is a fictitious conversation between me and a cat that's accusing me of sexism. But anyway, back to the story. You'll see me going back. This is the exact same color brown as the shirt is, but that's the good thing about these Prisma colors is you can layer them. And when you layer them on top of one another, you can add, you can add um, I would say, definition and depth to your piece. You you may, can, you may even get by with not even using that chocolate brown on the, on the the body of it, but I, I did because I really wanted there to be, you know, visual, you know, popping of the arm and everything, and it's just a doodle, it's just a cartoon doodle, I'm not doing it for anybody but me, and I'm having a good time. I suggest you do the same. And um, like I said before, if you do, hit that Twitter up and show me a picture. I really, I really love it. I really love it. And, you know, if you, if you're, I mean, if, don't have, don't worry about what you're doing. If it looks, you know, to you, it looks awful, finish it. You've got to finish the, the painting or your sketch or your sculpture or your puppet or anything. Finish it. I cannot tell you. This is one thing. This is a nugget of information. Right now, I'm about to drop on you. Get a pen and paper. I will not tell you how many times. I can't count. I cannot count how many times I have started a project Halfway through it, looked at it, and almost throw it down and go, this is garbage. But then stick it out, finish it, and then it looks amazing. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't, I'm glad I finished because I, don't, I was afraid that it would look like trash. You've got to continue. You've got to push ahead. You've got to conquer whatever this one little thing is. I'm working on a puppet right now for a friend, and it has been a month or so. And, um, you know, I've been working on it, you know, more than a month. But it's been in the it's been in the talks for a while, and I just got around to getting all the materials I need, and you know Amazon and shipping and all that that ain't really kind to you either, especially since it's been knee deep in snow around the world. <laughs> but you yeah, let's not complain about shipping at the moment. But I finally got all the stuff in, and I've been working on it, and I've literally changed things like daily when I work on it. I have to work on it a little at a time because it, it is so frustrating. It's a frustrating ordeal, and I'm trying to incorporate new designs. And if this happens, then I'll be doing those for me. And you will see this puppet. I will show it, and I will be proud of it as soon as it is done. I will hold it up on the rocky ledge um, like Simba on The Lion King and show everyone. I'm, I'm excited to get it done because it has been a long time in the works. But you'll see here I'm using this like kind of a gray. It's like a grayish. Um, it actually is gray. Let's just say gray. It's a very light gray. And um, I'm laying that as like an underlying color because I'm about to go back in here with some um, color pencil. And with the color pencil, I'm going to pop that white out. I, of course, I'm going to be using um, a pen as well, like a gel pen, a white gel pen, which I was introduced to thanks to watercolor people who do watercolors and... Of course, Mr. Will Terrell again. I'm going to mention him a lot on this first episode. And you're going to probably hear me mention him a bit when I'm doing like my rig, my gear, and all the stuff that I'm talking about with like my pencils and drawing because almost every bit of it 
was almost take like word, just word for word. I just went and searched it on Amazon, put it in a wish list, and then um, grabbed it up as little as I can, a little bit at a time, until I had made a nice drawing kit. And um, I know he mentions in his um in his um in his videos that you don't have to have the Prisma color markers. You don't have to have you know fancy color pencils and right now i'm using a crayola a white crayola you know to cost like three bucks for the entire set of color pencil you just make what you got work for you and that, i can't stress that enough especially when you're learning you know you make sure that you don't need you, you know you're going to waste stuff you're going to mess things up and that's that's to be expected just finish it like if you know Take the picture that to my left, under my left hand right there, that pinky looking thing. That, I had no idea what I was drawing when I started that. And I messed up a bit and I decided, you know what, let's just make it look like a melting face and kind of like bubble gum or something. And I, I went all out on it and I finished it. And it looks, you know, cool, but I don't know, it was just something I finished. I, I stuck it through the end and, you know, come up with a finished little product. And you'll notice here that um, the Prisma Color markers don't really inhibit um your color pencil your prisma color markers i should say don't inhibit the um addition of you know color pencils on top of it i'm trying to use big words here to sound smart but um you can lay white color pencil on top of these markers and it will not give you that bad of a, a time it's pretty it's pretty good and actually works great and this is a crayola color pencil if you had those fancy color pencils then you know I stopped right there um, with my hand because there was a little piece of plexiglass that was rubbing against the table and it was driving me insane and I, I finished this I finished this from start to finish with that like wee 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 it squeaked forever the original audio on here had people driving by and you'll still probably hear people driving by because I live right on the road but it was terrible like there were there was like during the day you know, I was working on this, and it was terrible. So you'll hear some cars drive by as I'm doing the audio now, but I'm trying to do it at night. It's actually 2.30 in the morning right now. I'm doing the audio. But um, I was really excited about this one. I I knew that I would start off with a little, you know, something derpy and maybe maybe um, internet-y and a meme-y, I should say. <laughs> Meme-worthy, um, you know. It's Grumpy Cat and... Everyone likes Grumpy Cat. I mean, it's the, it really is a cute cat. And that is why that's the primary reason it got so big. Because it, it she or it's just a cute little old cat has this, this mean looking face. But really, really is not mean at all. And I just enjoyed greatly drawing this thing. Now, in the future with live streams, I want to talk about live streams here. I keep looking over. I've got plenty of time here. But, um... With live streams, I want to um, do some of these maybe live, and I'm going to be doing cosplay live as soon as I can. Um, some of you know that I did win the the contest at Blizzard, and I'm waiting for the the money to get back. I'm going to you know try to take care of some of my car payment and maybe um, get a little bit of um, a little bit better computer, like a little desktop that I can stream from my workshop without having to have a big trouble. And when I do that, it'll be great. It's taking forever because Blizzard is not sent it yet. And that's kind of upsetting. <laughs> but they will soon enough. And when I do, I'll make a video showing the award and, you know, talking about it. So prepare for that someday, probably next year, I guess. I don't know. I don't know when they're going <laughs> to. To be honest, I don't know. I, I've asked them and they really have no estimated time. It's a bit upsetting, but... Because I was excited to win, and now I've almost forgot. It's almost going to be like winning again, because I will have thoroughly forgot what I was doing. You know? I'll be like, oh, I won. I'm sorry. Jeez, I forgot. But, um, you can see me here laying the black in, and this is really this is really where um the magic happens. The black and the white right here, when you start really popping it out or if you're not using black maybe a darker color of brown or something but at this moment you know as you can see i use that chocolate color and that pretty much said that's the darkest color you're going to get it told me and i was like this is, this is the darkest color badger and i was like okay i understand but um when i started adding the black this is when i really get happy because i start doing the line work and i start seeing it come out and pop 
And it's just, it really is an amazing, an amazing little guy that I did here. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, tell me what you think in the comments. And, of course, tell me, ask me questions, art-related, whether they be cosplay or not. Like, that will be something I can talk about. Of course, stories. I, I'll, um, you'll hear a lot of stories from me um, on my um, live stream. I, I've recently done a few stories. Of course, the link of, to that will be in the, the description below. That'll be great. You can see me play video games and, of course, build cosplay stuff in the future. But <laughs> I, you can tell we're going back to what I said before about the black lines. You can see me adding the little little um flicks of the wrist there, little tiny hairs, and it's a brush pen. It's got a real fine tip, and I can lay it down and get a fat line, or I can, like, pick it up really slightly, or, like, you know, do, like, a dagger stroke. I know with airbrushing, it's called a dagger stroke, or they refer to it, a lot of people refer to it as a dagger stroke. It's where you, you lay, um, you lay the, um, thing pretty, lay a lot of pressure down, and then as you lift off, you come away from you know, you lift up and kind of get a little bit lighter on your grasp. You know, I don't, it's hard to explain. What, you just have to do it. I'd have to show it on a video. Maybe I'll show some technique. I'm not the greatest at draw. I mean, like, I'm not a professional at drawing. When it comes to pro drawing, I'm going to be honest, there's guys out there who can draw me out of, you know, draw me right under the table. But that's the good thing about it. I'd still draw and I still have fun and I still enjoy what I do. And I hope you enjoy it. And, um, I hope you go to Will's channel and enjoy his content because he really is, honest to goodness, like a very inspirational dude. He says the word adorable a lot. Because, um, <laughs> sorry, I had to say that right then because that's every time I think about the dude that I hear him, mean, you can almost, you know, it's like he, he says adorable a ton. But um, that's a word I don't say very often not knocking it, but it's just a word I don't say. I'm trying to think of what word do you hear a lot that you don't say ever? <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a stupid question to ask, but maybe you'll answer. <laughs> but adorable is definitely, I, I never use that word adorable. I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe I should um, um, put it back into my vocabulary. Maybe this looks adorable. That's what I'm going to say. This cat looks adorable. He's not, he's not grumpy. He just misunderstood, man. He just wants to eat his meow mix and stretch and sleep. And isn't, that, isn't that what we all want? I want my meow mix. <laughs> but, you know, the line work, as you can see, around the face, I'm going to touch back on that. You see how it, it almost pops out that hairiness. It, it, it just accentuates it, I should say. That's a fancy word. It accentuates the hair. <laughs> And you see me going in here and relining it up, and you'll see me line around the arms, and everything starts popping and coming out. I mean, things that you may have not have picked up on with, you may not have picked up on with a sketch, because it was so light. Now you're starting to see come to life, like the the, the little stick or the staff, or he's got their walking stick right there. You see the hand work coming out. Man, that looks good. I was really happy with the way the hands are laying over one another. I was I was pleased. Because, you know, I, I don't think I've ever drawn Yoda or Grumpy Cat ever. So, you know, it's first for everything. And that's kind of, you, you got to challenge yourself with things. Like I said, with the female form and, and faces and all, I've been trying to challenge myself with that and get better at it. And, um, you know, I'm still doing good, but I've not filled a whole sketchbook up with um, female faces. And all. I've been just drawing, you know, cartoony craziness and crossover mashups like this and just some of my favorite youtubers and you know different comedians there's one of mark Marin i did and um i'll show that and that was pretty cool he um showed that off you know or he favorited it on twitter and it made me feel special but you know favorite and just goes hey i acknowledge your tweet but i choose not to retweet it you know but whatever you know life happens i wasn't after a retweet i just figured i would um show it to my viewers and i'd you know tagged him as well you know that's how twitter happens for those of you who are hip to the twitter or been hip to the twitter i'm just now figuring it out i mean i'm really enjoying it because i stay there a lot spying on people secretively you gotta i gotta keep away from that <laughs> i rarely say anything i should say more stuff i should talk about my food more and take pictures like everyone else 
Maybe not. I don't really eat anything awesome. Not right now. I'm trying to be on a diet. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> but we're working here. I, I, you see, we're almost done with the line work, and I cannot wait to get to the at this point to the jail pens. The you know the artist there I was talking about, Will. He he really has, you know, revolutionized the way I highlight things. This pen, it's like it's my favorite part. It's my favorite part of the drawing besides the line work, like I'm doing here. This like pops it out and gets it showing, and then the the, the you can easily overdo the white. Um, I really couldn't overdo the white here on this because, as you can tell, he is mostly white or she is mostly white. Grumpy Cat is mostly white, so yeah, it, it um it uh it it was necessary. I could at least I said it was necessary in my mind, but I love that pen right there. That is a zebra brush pen. It's got a really fancy, nice tip on it. Um, of course, in the video that I'll link to where I talk about what I've been using, I will have a link to Jet Pins. Um, of course, Will um, Terrell showed me that, too, because I was watching what his setup was on his video. And you can basically look on his um, his stuff and get a good idea of exactly what I got because I tried to um, almost mirror it because it just, I don't know. I just wanted to... Um, use some of the stuff he did and these pins are amazing i'm kind of I'm, I'm starting to fall in love with brush pins like i i never really used one a lot like i sketched with just regular pencils and i i never really finished a sketchbook that's that's really i think a shame i think if you're going to start a, you need to start a sketchbook with the intention of filling every page it doesn't have to be good it just has to be full and you got to draw you got to fill up every page. You got to make sure, you know, whether it's amazing work or just trash work, that it doesn't matter. You're practicing. You're you're learning. That's a sketch. That's what a sketchbook is, is is just a book full of stuff that you've if you messed up on. So yeah, I mean that that's something you need to remember. You you don't. That that's one of my main problems is um feeling I have to be just face meltingly amazing when I do something or that I'm not good enough and I you know if you don't if you feel you're not good enough or you're capable of more then I feel your pain but you me and you both have got to rise up above that feeling of it's got to be perfect or we can't let it out because I know he talks about it as well and and I'm talking about it right now it's very important you've got to just create and let it out into the world because you know you got to expect you know a little bit of failure before you can you know reap larger rewards and get better at what you're doing and and I agree I agree with what he said in, you know in those videos and I I'm telling you here that it is important to um do trash work you're going to I know you are you know it may be great though I mean still do it it's it, you just expect that if you're starting out, it's not going to be the greatest. But still do it. Still show it to people. Still get critiques. Learn to um to just get better. That's that's how you do it. That's how you learn. A brain surgeon isn't born with the knowledge of knowing how to crack a skull and fix a brain. That's a terrible example, but I don't know. It's not that bad of an example. A brain surgeon, you know, it takes some time. Just like art and just like anything worth doing, you're going to have to take some time and learn how to do it well. That's with this art. I've been doing it, what, I'm 29 now? It's 29. 29 years are like, I would say probably, I'm going to say 22 years I've been doing it. Because I was around 6 or 7 when I started doing a journal. And I'll talk more about that in the future. I don't want to get too crazy on that one right now. We're drawing to a close because I'm about to talk about the gel pen. And it's glorious. It's glorious addition to this piece. It really does. Like right now, I could stop. It looks beautiful. Right now, I could stop right now. And it would still look pretty sweet, in my opinion. But when I lay in the white and I start adding a little bit of addition with the white. Look at me right there. Oh, look at that. I'm just running across my thumb. Going over here, getting it going. It's important. You know, just popping two little dots in the eyes and a little shine. Gives me a little bit more life. And, um, a little bit of a wet nose here. Oh, man, this really does. And I'm going to start doing the hair on the face. So don't, 
don't um look at that it really does like just right there just that alone it just it really does change completely and right now i'm just like kind of i do hold my pencil um and pens weird i can hold them normal but i always like to hold them like that ever since i was a a kid. I used to have this, um, you see how I rested on my thumb? I used to have a rub mark on my thumb when I was younger, when I was developing my, I have like a, not really a callus, but it is rougher right there where I touch with my pen because I've never, I've always drawn that way. And it just gives me more stability when, or stability when I'm drawing. I'm not suggesting you do that. It's just something I've always done. I know people look at me like, was, how's he drawing like that? But I can draw with you know, the traditional way, but I don't, I, I just, I like the way I draw. <laughs> I thought very closely about filling that eye up, but I already had the white color pencil, and I didn't want to give it too much pop, because we're about to pop a lot of the hair out right here. As you're seeing, it just, it really does add a, a another layer, a completely new layer of depth. I was kind of scared at first about doing this. I was really scared about adding this much white. I was like, I know he's white, you know, but I think I may have to stick with it. Look at me pointing at the pen. At this point, I'm talking. I'm actually talking during this because I did like a audio thing because I was going to, you know, maybe the audio was going to be good enough and I was going to keep it. But no, cars decided, you know, it's like I was living on a spaceport or something like, you know, NASA was right, right in front of the house landing shuttles or something all day. It was ridiculous. But <laughs> look at that. It is amazing, though. I really, I really want you to try that. I've seen this done with um, watercolors. Like they'll, they'll do watercolors and they'll get done and they'll highlight with um, the gel pen. And it is, it is just some breakthrough stuff right there. This is a really long video. I, I want you guys to tell me, um, in the comments while we're closing out here, what you think about the length of this video. Would you like to see these lengthy videos and say have me kind of chat about whatever's whatever topic you guys want me to chat about you know or would you rather see me say speed it up halfway and kind of you know talk about something quick and shorten the video i know a lot of you don't have as much time on your hands but i know on the other hand a lot of you would like to see from start to finish you would like to see me finish the piece you know at at normal speed so you can see kind of how long it takes and how long, you know, what, what kind of little techniques I do and how I hold my hand and all. Because I know that's important to some people. I know that makes all the difference to me sometimes, watching someone do something. So let me know, please. Give me some feedback on this very first video because there's going to be more. But I will listen and I will um, go with it. Uh, of course, um, very positive, nice critique of course don't be a dickhead because i know there's a lot of you guys out in the world <laughs> i'm joking you they're probably not watching the video especially not at the very end like this but i do um i do love to hear back from you awesome awesome viewers if you liked it make sure to hit the like button and to share it if that's something that you like um Tell me what you'd like to see in future drawing because I would love to try to attempt it. I may do a contest or a giveaway where I draw like, say, you or something as a little cartooniness or something. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's little possibilities with this series of videos. At this point, I realized, look at me right there. I realized I didn't want to use that black. I, I, just, I just kept that in there because, you know, it's free form. I wanted to use the black because I was going to put a big thick outline, but then I said that would take away from the hair of the little guy. So I just kept it free like that and added a little bit of ground here because he's, you know, he could be using the force to float, but, eh, you know. <laughs> Amazing. But, yes, I will use this final few minutes as we're finishing out this little green ground under him to say thank you so much for watching it. I want you to, you know, go to the links in social media below, whether it be Twitter, Twitch, and all those links. Do follow me on there so you can see maybe previews of pictures and, and future chats. Give me some feedback, whether you like it long or you ra rather have it a little sh shorter. Uh, I'm a child. <laughs> but um, take care. 
I love you guys, and I'm going to cue the music. I always sign your artwork. I'm about to do it, though. I'm like, wait, I'm not going to cue the music right now. I realize I've got a few more minutes. So anyway, how about them? How about them? Them bears, right? I don't know. I don't watch sports. Look at me. Um, yeah, I wanted to pop that out just a little bit more. A little bit of darkness right there. And giving it the old John Hancock. You know what? To hell with John Hancock. It's the old Patrick James. <laughs> Figure out where you want to sign it, Patrick. Not there. That's lame. Nope. Yes, there you go. Right there, buddy. That's how you do it. Uh -huh. Put the little symbol. Uh-huh. And put the date. Put the date so future people know where it's at. Or you. Get old and see not one day. You'll need to know what year that was. Probably don't even know what Grumpy Cat is. But take care. Music. Click the links at the end of the video. We love you. We. Oh, the Grumpy Cat loves you too. Secretive. Mmm. -hmm.